So if you ever have to make backups from your MongoDB server, after a while this might be some repetitive work to do. So in this video we'll see how to make this process automated by writing a bash script that automatically does all the work for us and makes the necessary backups from the server. So if you have the same problem, stick with me, let's find out more. what's up guys medium guy here and in this video we'll see how to make backups from our mongodb server running as a docker container and later in the next part we'll see how to transfer all these files all these backup files to another server for having the backups so if our server crashes or whatever we have the same copy in other servers so without any delay let's get down to work so for getting started i have a docker compose file by which i have run a mongodb server instance so i'll nano the docker compose file and i have only one service in this which is mongo test which uses the mongo base image and i have provided the root username and password and i have mounted the volumes for persisting the data that will be stored in the database and I have exposed the default port for the mongodb server and that's all in my docker compose file so and all the thing that I need to do is say docker compose app and I'll see that the server is successfully running so if you have made it until here you'll be able to access your server with for example mongodb compass and if i provide the exact same data in my docker compose file which are the host name which in my case is localhost the port is the default and the authentication type is the username and password and i'll provide the root as the username and password exactly the same that i provided in the docker compose file so if i hit connect i'll successfully connect to my database server and in here i see that i have some test databases that i created only for the purpose of the demonstration and inside each of these databases i have a collection and a simple document in each of those collections and also i have some indexes that i defined with the purpose of checking if the indexes also get dumped and also backed up in another instances where we back up our data so this is all that we need to have in our mongodb server and jumping back to the terminal i have created a simple directory and called it scripts and in here i'll try to create a sh file by which i'll be able to run bash scripts so i'll say nano backup mongodb.sh and inside this the first line should be a comment pointing to the bash address so i'll say bin slash bash so i'll hit save and if i exit I'll see that I've successfully created my sh file and for the rest I will need the container name so I'll say docker ps and I'll just go ahead and copy the name of the container so again I'll just continue editing my sh file and in here I'll define some environment variables which will be my container name and the backup address and the database name which will be optional and if you provide it as an option to the mongo dump it'll dump exactly the same database in the mongodb server so for defining the environment variables i'll say export container name which will be equal to the container name that i just copied so the next variable will be the backup address so i'll say export backup location which will be equal to an empty string for now and in here i'll just go ahead and create a directory called mongodb backup so i'll say mkdir 
for creating a directory and I'll provide the name as the mongo dash backups. I'll hit enter. If I hit ls, I'll see that the directory has been created. So I'll cd into mongo backups directory that I just created. And in here, I'll hit pwd, which will return the absolute path of this directory. And I'll copy the directory and go back and edit my backup script. So I'll just paste the full path of the backup location as the value of the backup location variable. So another variable I'll define for the database name and I'll say export database name, which is equal to test. In my case, it can vary for your situation and I'll declare another variable which will be the timestamp for later using as the directory names which will return some unique names so I'll say export timestamp which is equal to the exact date the exact year month and exact second of that exact moment that we are getting the backup from the database so providing the dollar parentheses will enable us to run commands inside other commands so this exact part of this line will be run as another command and whatever it will return will be the value of the timestamp variable so we are ready to run some commands inside the container passing our variables so i'll say docker exec dash t and I'll say dollar brackets and by using this I'll be able to use my variables and in here I'll copy paste the container name and next I'll address the exact same command that I need to run inside the container so I'll say mongo dump I'll pass the dash dash out option and pass a address which will be slash data slash backup again i'll try to use my timestamp variable and at the end i'll provide the dash dash db and pass my database name variable as the value so this exact part is the option that we pass to the mongo dump so it'll dump only that database that we just provided so i'll keep it for now to see if it works correctly and the next thing after the mongo dump has finished working i'll need to copy all the files related to the mongo dump output out of the container to my computer so i'll say docker cp i'll provide my container name and by passing the colon I'll address the exact location where my dump files exist. So I'll say data slash backup dash. I'll provide the timestamp. And at the end, I'll provide the backup location variable where I want my dump files to exist. So with that, all we need for this part of the backup is finished and we can save the file and I'll hit Control X for exiting and in here the thing that I need to do is make my sh file executable so I'll say ch mod plus x and provide the backup mongodb.sh so this will make my sh file executable and now i can run my script file by saying delta slash backup mongodb.sh so i am getting this error because my database has an authentication and the mongo dump command cannot create a successful connection to the mongodb server so the thing that i need to do is provide the necessary credentials to the mongo dump command so if i hit nano backup sh again in here the first thing that i need to provide is the authentication database which is the admin 
so it'll know where to check the credentials and the next thing I'll provide the dash dash username option and I'll pass the root as the username and the dash dash password which in my case is example for the root username and the other error that I had was putting the spaces between the equal sign where I wanted to export the timestamp variable. This is some programming mistakes that I make when I write bash scripts. So I'll remove them and I hit save and if I try to run my script file again now I'll see that the backup has worked successfully and if I hit ls and cd into mongo backups I'll hit ls again and in here I'll see that the backup folder with the timestamp has been successfully created. Again, I'll cd into backup with the timestamp. The other directory is there because our first attempt executing the sh file was unsuccessful. So I'll cd into the backup folder and in here I'll see only the test directory has been created and the backup only worked for the test database because I provided the dash dash db option in the mongo dump command. So if I ls inside the test directory I'll see that the necessary files has been created successfully and copied out of the container and if I go back and edit my backup script file again and in, in here if I remove the dash dash db option at the end of the mongo dump command I'll hit save and I'll try to run my backup script again and this time I see that the log output is a little bit longer and also if I go inside my mongo backups I'll hit ls again, I'll see another file has been created, I'll hit backup with the latest timestamp and if I hit ls inside the directory I'll see all the databases has been successfully dumped. So how many times we run the sh file, it'll just go ahead and create the dump files and in the next part we'll see have to make this sh file a cron job to my machine and also move all the files as a zip file to another server using ssh for backing up our files maybe because if this server that i am in right now gets down by any reason gets crashed or whatever any viruses any viruses attacks my machine and all my files go away I'll have the backups of my dump files in another servers so that's it for this video and if you have any questions I'll be happy to help just go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below and I hope you learned something new in this video and also don't forget to watch the next part so thanks for watching please do like and subscribe and i'll hope to see you in the next videos